Seven months after announcing he was entering end-of-life hospice care, former President Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind made a rare appearance during a peanut festival in their hometown of Plains, Georgia. Yep, I think that's the one. Their ride in the parade started a week of celebrations for Jimmy Carter's 99th birthday on October 1st, a milestone few, including Reed Elliott, expected the longest living U.S. president to reach. It was amazing considering that he's in hospice care and he's tough enough to come out here. In my opinion, I think he's one of the toughest men that's ever served as president. I think there's a, a misunderstanding about hospice, that it's only for people who are days away from death. That's not what the hospice movement says. Author Jonathan Alter, who wrote the Jimmy Carter biography, His Very Best, says the Carters are spending the end of their lives in much the same way as the rest of it. Do as much as you can, for as many as you can, for as long as you can. Alter says by announcing Carter's transition to hospice and Rosalind Carter's struggle with dementia, the couple created an opportunity to teach others. It was very intentional on their part uh, to do some good for the world by sending a message uh, that you don't have to uh, shrink from these end of life decisions and there are other options uh, for people who um, are ready to let go. While they have let go of the daily operations of the global nonprofit they founded in 1982, Carter Center CEO Paige Alexander says thousands of employees and volunteers around the world continue the Carter's work, promoting peace and combating neglected tropical diseases without interruption. Yeah, the last time we talked, he he didn't ask me about politics. He didn't ask me about anything except for our guinea worm numbers. In a 2015 press conference announcing he was facing life-threatening cancer, which he successfully recovered from, Carter expressed his greatest wish before his death. I'd like for the last guinea worm to die before I do. When the Carter Center began guinea worm prevention efforts in the 1980s, there were 3.5 million cases in 21 countries. Alexander says the eradication of the neglected tropical disease is closer than ever. And we're down to six human cases in two countries, so we're pretty close. In Alexander's phone conversations with Carter. When I spoke to him last and wished him happy birthday early, he said, I'm not quite sure how happy it is to be turning 99. She says he is aware of the continued outpouring of support and admiration. I love you, Jimmy Carter. Happy birthday. I think it might be the special sauce of what keeps him going right now. Yeah, as, as I've said, that and peanut butter ice cream. A special dessert Alexander says the Carters enjoy together, sometimes surrounded by family, in the small community they have called home since the 1920s. They're exactly where they want to be, which is together in their hometown of Plains, Georgia. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News.